socially distanced classrooms. What two words sound the same? And communicating through masks have become the norm in schools across the country. Here in Fairfield at Compass Elementary. Make sure we social distance as we wait. Language arts teacher Jerrica Hinson is going a step further to reinvent the classroom by walking her students out of class and into the fresh air. And to get them learning outside, it just retains their attention so much better. They're happier. They're excited to learn. Today's lesson. We have been talking about poetry, right friends? What have we been talking about? Poetry. So we're going to practice using descriptive words, colorful language outside. To describe anything they touch. Expecting a window, this feels a mixture of sleek and rough. Owen Watts says the outdoors helps his creativity. Out here it's a bit hotter, there's more nature around me, a lot more flowers. Over at Fairfield's South Elementary. We're going to be making some observations about the landscape that we see over here. Allison Lindemann is also using nature as the backdrop for her third grade art class. I have to copy making those trees on this piece of paper. With brushes in hand, these kids are content doing work. It's really nice and it's just nice to have a different view other than a smart board. It gives us an opportunity like this to really rethink the classroom and what the classroom means and how we can um, really give the kids such an amazing experience while we're still at school. And while more teachers are bringing their students outside, administrators say safety is still the top priority. So the outside environment, the outside classroom is an extension really to the inside of the building. And, you know, we practice all types of different safety drills and protocols uh, inside the building that definitely carry over to the outside. Even with masks on. Have you ever heard the phrase, just take a deep breath and that makes everything better? Yeah. Owen says it's true. Yep. In Fairfield, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.